Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the XPath access methods following and following sibling. So we have already seen some of the access methods in previous tutorial. So what exactly is following and following sibling method? So following, uh, if you use following method, it basically selects all the nodes that appear after the current node or the context node that you are referring in your HTML DOM structure. Uh, the format is very similar uh, for the relative X path. So tag name, attribute, uh, and the value of the attribute, and then two forward slashes following, uh, two colons, and the tag name. And you can do a lot of uh, other attributes for the tag name here. So uh, and then the next one is the following sibling. The difference between following and following sibling is that in the following it selects all the nodes that appear after the context node. In following sibling what happens is it selects all the nodes that have the same parent. So following doesn't look for the same parent it just looks for uh, the nodes that appear after the, the context node. But following sibling what it does is it selects all the following nodes which have the same parent okay as the context node or the current node that you are referring and whichever nodes that appear after the current node will be selected by the following sibling and should have the same parent so the format is very similar you just need to replace following with following hyphen sibling and provide the tag name now let's understand following and following sibling with an example so let me open chrome and here you can see i'm on developer.salesforce.com let me scan uh, or inspect some of the uh, some element here so i'll inspect this drop down in a chrome browser and it will open the element that i have selected right so this is the select drop down with the name id etc so these are the attributes now I'll do command F or control F to open the XPath uh, search box and we'll start typing with two forward slash and then if we expand this select here right so you'll see there that this element select element contains a lot of child element okay so we'll use this to explain the following and following sibling example so let's say I select uh ag right so let me say uh, that the tag name is option right and then the value of the tag that we want to select is ag okay so we'll say add the rate value okay which is the uh, one of the attribute of this uh, element here and then specify the value right so now it has selected this particular element okay so if we say following okay so we'll say following and then two colons and we'll specify the tag name for the following element so i want to see what all elements with the tag option are there okay so if i'll just say specify the following option right and you can see all the following elements have been selected okay so you can see 220 options are there which have been selected if i change this to vi say for example uh, the value to vi and then following you will see that there are five elements right so one two three four five so these options are selected which are following the web element following the reference element or the root root element so we can scan it now so first second third fourth and fifth right now if we say following sibling then the options still remain uh, same you will see that these are only five values that are being returned because for this particular node the option with value uh, this the parent is same and that parent contains only these values when we used following uh, 
uh, it returned the same number of element because there are no other option element below uh, this particular node that we are we have selected if there would have been any child elements with with the option tag they would have been displayed um, so that is why at this point of time you can't see any of the option values or uh, extra values when you are using following or following sibling let me check if there are any other option tags um, so yeah here i have some option tags so let me change it and see the difference so i'll say value is developer and then the following option so now you can see that there are 233 uh, following uh, elements uh, or um, web elements that have been selected so that's the first one second third fourth and then it went to the next parent because parent for this reference node is this one with the name user job role but because we are using following so it will select all the tags with the option or all the elements with the tag option in this particular web page now if i change it to following sibling now it will only select four siblings uh, in the reference of this particular developer role because now when we use following sibling it will check the siblings which have the same parent so this parent only has these four siblings for this particular developer so now you can see that only four elements have been selected right so that's the, the difference between following and following sibling in xpath access method now these options or these methods are really helpful so you can specify the option that you want to select say for example you want to select a specific um, element so you can specify uh, the value as well in this option right so i can say at value is equal to and then just specify uh, it manager and executive and it will select only that one particular node using the following sibling option now these options are helpful when you don't have any unique attributes uh, for the web element so it's basically you need to decide when are you going to use these uh, options or the access methods to make the most value out of the web element locating strategies so that's pretty much about the following and following sibling in xpath access methods hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching